All right, so today GameStop launched its official GameStop wallet, right? It's on a Chrome extension. It's going to be an iOS app very soon. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I just want to give you my personal thoughts and opinions, but I think the story is telling itself. Look at the one day, one minute chart for GameStop today. A day with great news. Only 1.5 million volume. Very, very low. And look at the candlesticks. How many lines are there in there? Just lines, like basically non-existent candles for that minute, meaning like theoretically almost little to no volume at that minute in time. On a day where GameStop has great news, ask yourself why, and it just stays in this tiny, 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 tiny range. Like that. Ask yourself why. Why is this trading like a penny stock? Why? I think I know the answer. Computer share. If all of a sudden now, the X factor appears to be computer share and individuals choosing to DRS shares more and more over time. As time has gone on, we've seen the stock become less and less liquid. There's like so few shares trading on the daily. And not only that, just how it's trading. Look at it on a daily basis. Like it's like barely moving when it is. It's like down 50 cents, up 50 cents, back to even. So like, it's just algorithmic. It's like, it's obvious that there's like shares, like liquidity being pulled out. And if you have a situation where all the brokers are all the members of the DTC, and then now all these shares from the DTC are getting withdrawn over to computer share over here and just computer share over here in this side. And then this side is a whole mess and tangle of brokers. Now they're all scrambling to each other. Hey, wait, you don't have shares. You don't have shares. You don't have shares. Because guess what? This at the top here, the DTC, they don't actually have the shares and any shares they do have they're being requested to be sent over to computer share. So it's less and less shares from that pool where they're just trading it back and forth and whatever kind of manipulation they're doing, whatever kind of way they're still shorting the stock, still suppressing the price. It's, it's got to be something with shares back and forth one way or another, right? Whether it's swaps, it's in the options chain, it's in XRT. If it's in all those withdrawing from the DTC, from all the brokers, right? Over to computer share. Huge difference. Game changer. I think we're seeing it right now. Look at a day like today with great news. And anybody who's on computer share, if they took the time to transfer their shares to computer share, I promise you they're not selling for a very long time. That's probably the case for most individuals. So when you have that and then the price going down and so many people like me that just keep buying. I saw it today. I'm like, we launched the wallet. The price goes down. I'll buy another share. All right. I'll DRS it in two days when it settles. How can you stop that if you're on the other side of the trade? Like you have to be pulling your hair out. Like how are these individuals still doing this on the long side of the tree? How have they not forgotten GameStop? Forget GameStop. Try this stock. Forget GameStop. Netflix is getting into gaming. Blah, 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 blah. All these articles we've seen. And now we see a physical, well, it's not physical, it's digital, but it's an actual product that GameStop has launched. And we know the NFT marketplace is right around the corner. So we actually see work in progress right now. It's actually happening. For so long, you know, if you're the shorting hedge fund, oh, they're going to launch the marketplace. They're going to get into Web3. They're going to do this. Gonna do it. It's been talked about, anticipated for so long. It's like, wait a minute. It's actually happening. It's actually happening. And this talks about moving. What other reason would that be than illiquidity? Look look at the charts. Like, just look at the chart. It just makes no sense. It just doesn't even look real. It looks like it's just like a penny stock. It's trading like a penny stock. And it's a publicly traded $6 billion company at the current valuation. And it'll be worth many, 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 many multiples of that billion dollar number, in my opinion, when it gets to its true value. And what its true value is, I truly don't know. But what I can tell you is GameStop is trading like a penny stock right now. And to me, that's just crazy. It's ludicrous. And it's so blatantly obvious that the stock is manipulated. And to me, it's so obvious that computer share is the game changer. It really will come down to it. Webull is going as far as to make shares lendable, right? I talked to three people today who all confirmed me the same thing. Like, yeah, I never put um, share lending on my Webull, but all my, my GameStop shares are listed as, um, I forgot the acronym, but basically like I looked up, it's like being, it's the acronym for full securities like lending program. I think that's what it is, yeah. So. If they're lending out the shares, it's like there's a high borrow rate. So Webull is willing to pay their clients the high borrow rate just to keep the shares on loan. Have you ever seen that with another stock before? And the the, the um, Fintel shows 12% borrow rate today. Only updated twice. Only twice. Why? Why is it not updating? Like it is every 15 minutes on every other stock. Ask yourself why. Why? Because they're scared.